I'm here on the busy Hulimale beach in the Maldives and last Friday I went on a walking tour of the capital city Mali. It's my first time ever doing a walking tour in a different city and I just wanted to let you know how I got on. It was myself, my 11 year old daughter and her friend, 11 years old of age as well. And we went to the Secret Paradise, we had organised it through them. And we started off, we met Archie, he got us off the bus, he got us in a taxi to the very starting point in Mali. And straight away we just went looking at the school and I think he really tailored it for us because I got the girls talking, asking questions. And Archie was so great, he was just really bonding with them, really trying to find out what school was like in Ireland and how different it was over here, and the class size, and do they have uniforms. So it got the girls chatting and got us all involved, which was really, really nice. Then we went along and we saw different sites like the President's House, which was absolutely beautiful. We got to see Sultan Park, but unfortunately it was closed. But Archie was brilliant, he went over, had a little chat with the, the guard and just said, hey look, is it okay if we go in just to take a few photographs? So it was lovely. He snuck us in, we got a few beautiful photographs. Oh my God, the coloured lights in there are absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to actually go back when it's open. From there then, we started walking around the rest of Mali, got to see a lot of different things. I thought I was going to be super prepared to bring my shawl to cover my shoulders because we were going to get a chance to go into a mosque, which I was really excited about. However, I had shorts on, so I didn't know you had to have your knees covered too. So if you are watching this and are coming to Mali and you fancy going to see a mosque, make sure that you have your shoulders covered and something to put around your lower legs too, just in case they are exposed. Then we got to see, oh actually we stopped off and had a beautiful drink. Uh, Archie treated us to a lovely milkshake in a gorgeous rooftop restaurant. So that was really nice and just seeing the whole view of the harbour and everything like that. And then, oh actually another place we went to was the market. And you know, a really busy place. There's such a variety of fruit and veg, half the stuff I didn't even recognise. And it was really nice to say, what's that, what's that, and figure it out. Uh, the stall owners were lovely. They kept stopping us and kept getting us to try, you know, different samples of things. So it was a great, a great experience overall. We stopped off at the fish market, but uh, it was a Friday and it was late enough in the evening. So, you know, all the fish were gone at that stage. But it was still, it was nice to see. So overall, I suppose what I would say, first time doing a walking tour ever in any city and I'm never going to go to a city again without doing a guided walking tour. Archie from Secret Paradise, he made it so enjoyable. We were able to ask any question we wanted. Now I'm not mad into like history but I love to hear what's going on in current society, how people live, what the living standards are, everything like that. So I got a such amount of information from a historical point of view but then he was able to answer all my questions on the, cur the current political regime, how society works, all of that, which made it really, really alive and interesting for me. And hearing it direct from a local was absolutely brilliant. So thank you, Secret Paradise. Thank you, Archie, and see you again. Bye-bye.